Hello and welcome back to the Science of Lab Tests, your go-to source for health and wellness insights. Today, we're diving into a crucial topic, diabetes and the HbA1c test. If you or someone you love is managing diabetes or just wants to understand this test better, this video is for you. So, grab a cup of tea, get comfortable, and let's unpack everything about HbA1c and why it's a game changer for managing diabetes. Let's start with the basics. Diabetes is a chronic condition where the body either doesn't produce enough insulin or can't use it effectively. Insulin is the hormone that helps regulate blood sugar levels. If diabetes isn't managed, high blood sugar can damage your heart, kidneys, eyes, and nerves. This is why early detection and consistent monitoring are so important. Now, let's talk about HbA1c, also known as the hemoglobin A1c test. This test is a cornerstone for diabetes management and diagnosis. But what does it measure? Essentially, HbA1c reflects your average blood sugar levels over the past two to three months. Here's how it works. Hemoglobin is a protein in your red blood cells that carries oxygen. When sugar enters your bloodstream, it sticks to hemoglobin, forming what we call glycated hemoglobin. The HbA1c test measures the percentage of hemoglobin that is glycated. The higher your blood sugar, the more glycated hemoglobin you'll have. So why is this test so important? Unlike a daily blood sugar test, which gives you a snapshot of your levels at a single moment, HbA1c provides a long-term view. It's like checking the overall performance of a car over a month, rather than just looking at the fuel gauge one day. Doctors use HbA1c to diagnose diabetes and prediabetes. For most people, an HbA1c below 5.7% is considered normal between 5.7% and 6.4% indicates prediabetes. 6.5% or higher on two separate tests confirms diabetes. For those already managing diabetes, the target HbA1c is typically below 7%, but this can vary based on your age, overall health, and other factors. Always discuss your specific target with your healthcare provider. Now, let's dig a bit deeper into the science behind the HbA1c test. Red blood cells live for about 120 days. During this time, glucose naturally binds to hemoglobin through a non-enzymatic process called glycation. The more glucose in your blood, the more hemoglobin gets glycated. The HbA1c test works by measuring the percentage of glycated hemoglobin in your blood sample. For example, if your result is 7%, that means 7% of the hemoglobin in your red blood cells is glycated. This is why it's such a reliable indicator of your average blood sugar levels over the lifespan of your red blood cells. What makes the HbA1c test stand out? Here are a few advantages. First, no fasting is required. Unlike some blood sugar tests, you don't need to fast before taking an HbA1c test. Second, it provides a long-term view. It reflects blood sugar control over months, not just hours or days. And finally, convenience. It's widely available and easy to perform. However, it's not a perfect test. Certain conditions can affect HbA1c results, like anemia or other blood disorders, kidney disease, and recent blood transfusions. In these cases, your doctor might use alternative tests, such as a fructosamine test, to monitor blood sugar levels. Now let's talk about managing your HbA1c levels. Here are some tips. First, follow a balanced diet. Focus on whole grains, lean proteins, healthy fats, and plenty of vegetables. Limit refined carbs and sugary foods. Second, exercise regularly. Aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate activity each week. Third, monitor your blood sugar. Consistent self-checks help you stay on track. Fourth, take medications as prescribed. If you're on diabetes medications or insulin, stick to your regimen. Remember, small, consistent changes can make a big difference over time. To wrap up, the HbA1c test is a powerful tool for understanding and managing diabetes. It's simple, effective, and gives you a clearer picture of your long-term blood sugar control. Whether you're managing diabetes or just keeping an eye on your health, make sure to discuss this test with your doctor. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who might benefit from this information. Don't forget to subscribe to the Science of Lab Tests for more health and wellness content. Until next time, take care and stay healthy.